Some for the people, man. Some for the people. Nah, I smoked my first cigarette. I was like in my twenties, bro. I started. I would I would get a stick from my mom's in the morning, and I would smoke it in the house and take a shit. You know what I'm saying? And okay. then uh, when I started doing comedy, that's when I really picked up cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like being around other comedians or just well, nah, stressed out? Nah, just because I would be at the club so long. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I was still smoking weed, and I wouldn't want to be fucking up there fucking smoking weed all day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Uh, and so fucking, because I'd be wasting my shit. I would like to fucking be at the crib, posted. You know what I'm saying? Or while yeah. I'm driving. So like, uh, when I started hanging out more at the comedy club, I would I would start I started smoking sticks. You know what I'm saying? Surprisingly, you can't you couldn't quit cigarettes the way you quit smoking weed. <laughs> Yeah, she would. We was fucking with my freedom, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so oh, it was like, you know what I mean. I had to, you know what I mean, because I got on probation, and I fucking I had to, you know what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I had to even like, because at first I had quit smoking, and then I was still hanging around niggas that was smoking. So my boy James, that uh, R.P. James, he died or whatever. Uh, I would go to his crib and be just posted all day, you know what I'm saying. That's the first time I ever caught contact high. I didn't realize that shit was a real thing. I thought motherfuckers that act like they had contact high was fucking faking. You know what I'm saying? Well, I That's real. Yeah, that shit is real, bro. You know what I'm saying? I fucking got to the crib and I fucking was wrecking, grubbing on shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and yeah. uh, then I was just fucking yapping, bro. I was talking to my sister-in-law. I don't even like that bitch. And I was just talking to her like she was my best friend, dog. You know what I'm saying? Might be the, uh, like, I have hang around weed smokers my whole life, so I might be the most past blunt to nigga King yeah. of contact. I of feel all time. Yeah. Like, you. You just passing it through to, to the next nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And niggas never remember that you don't smoke. Like they're yo, like, oh yo. my bad. Thirty yeah. times. Oh my bad. <laughs> my bad. In the same session. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They just don't like, ever just skip you. They still hand it to you. You know what I'm saying? They be so high. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know why I prefer edibles though. That's that's weird to me. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. That's funny that you you'll eat an edible, but you don't you won't smoke. You know yeah, I guess saying? I just, I ain't never just like smoke going through my lungs. That's just Really? Me. Yeah. See, for yeah. me, I think if I, if if I could, that's what I would do. I would rather smoke. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I got some weak ass lungs, I think. Really? Because uh, I was at this party and, um, mm. damn. So it's a game. You got to blow up a balloon and then use the air to knock off the cups on the table. I don't know if you ever seen it. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Well, like I couldn't blow these balloons. Like it was like little <laughs> little girls was blowing balloons and like knocking the uh, shit. Out. I I couldn't yeah. like blow the balloon up. Really? Yeah, I don't know if I was just tired, but yeah, I don't know. Nigga might have COVID. I don't know. You stupid. <laughs> but that's just kind of concerning. I thought you were gonna say like you would always cough or some shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like that's regular. You know what I mean? Uh, nah, it's just weak. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? If you ain't choking, you ain't smoking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I I never like to smoke. That free. It's a but different habit, you know what I'm saying? Both my parents smoke though. Yeah, my, my mom smokes, you know what I'm saying? My mom is smoking since she had, she's like 17, 18, you know what I'm saying? You remember back when we could go to the store like as kids to pick up cigarettes? I don't remember going like as a little kid, but I remember going like once I turned 18, that was regular, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I wonder if that was like uh because I was in Arkansas and I I, I was like probably nine, and my dad would be really? like, go pick some cigarettes from the gas station, and they would just sell me the damn cigarettes. That's probably where you was at, son, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, I remember shit, I can remember being, like, the same age, and uh, my mom, like, nah, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't even, hell nah, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't mm-hmm. go in the store and be like, yo, let me get a pack of, you know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, that's weird. And it might have been, was it a small town? Uh, Yeah, it was, like, Pine Bluff. Okay, and was it like the like the store like that was in like the area, and they knew your yeah. dad? Yeah, pretty. Well, I don't know if they knew my dad. Oh, but... Okay, because I was gonna say that might have been what it was—is they knew your dad, and they would just you know, you asked for uh, what he smoked, and they like, oh, okay, it's for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, because it, it wasn't just me. Like, I feel you. like kids could get cigarettes. Really? That's weird. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I think that's where you was at, nigga. You in Arkansas, nigga, backwood, nigga. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Iron Bluff. That's the that's it. Sounds super country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You's off work today? Hell yeah. I'm off today mm-hmm. and tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what's up. You know what I mean? 
What you, what you got planned? Not a goddamn. Been big uh, fucking posted, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking doing well on my little, not, I won't say diet, but just changing up my fucking eating habits. I lost like fucking 10 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Already. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, What's the goal? Uh, I ain't really got no goal. I was just trying to get my sugar down. You know what I'm saying? Because my sugar had got out of hand. I don't know if we talked about this already. Uh, A little bit, I think. Okay. Because, yeah, my sugar had got out of hand, son. So, it, Misty, my wife was just worried. She was like, yo, we got to figure out if you can get this shit under control or if you need to get back on the medicine. Because I had got off that. I just cold turkey went off the medicine because George scared me saying that shit fucks your kidneys up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I was like, all right, let me stop taking this shit. And then I had got out of hand with my fucking sugar. My shit was like in the two over, like over 200 regularly. You know what I'm saying? A couple of days, it was like three something. One day it was damn near four. You know what I'm saying? Why, why was you making sugar cookies last time? Uh, Cause Misty wanted sugar cookies. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. My wife wanted sugar cookies, but I didn't eat none though. Well, oh, okay. I, no, I, I, ain't, no, I ain't gonna hold you. I did eat a couple, but that was on my cheat day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So oh, okay. Friday, Friday's my cheat day. You know what I mean? But yeah. I've been straight. My shit been real good, dog. I come to the crib, my shit like 130. Uh, shit, I checked it a few minutes ago. Shit was 140. You know what I'm saying? Before I oh, ate. Okay. I just cut the, like, cut the carbs out. That was my problem because sweets i had cut out for the most part you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. every now and again i get some fucking uh ice cream or whatever but i got like uh no sugar added ice cream it ain't sugar free it's just no sugar added uh Damn. you're a coffee drinker too yeah and that would be fucking my shit up too but i drink my coffee with uh i use heavy cream so it ain't got no sugar you know what i mean and then i use uh like splenda it's h-e-b version of splenda you know what i'm saying Man, uh, i hate that shit I'm, I got used to it, bro. Like, it's to the point where I don't even like the taste of regular sugar in my coffee no more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, like I had, uh, I ran out a couple, like I'll run out a couple times and I'm like, all right, fuck, I just eat, drink this one cup with sugar or whatever. And I don't even like the taste of it. It should taste gross uh -huh. to me now. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I, man, it's really a good thing. I mean, yeah, 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 you yeah, make yeah. yourself not like, like sugar as much. Yeah, exactly. But I still got a sweet tooth. Don't get it twisted. I'll fuck some ice cream up or some cookies and uh, shit in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But just like straight up sugar in my coffee, I can't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, or like I found regular, myself. regular Coke. I don't like regular Coke the way that shit tastes. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to drink my coffee. No sugar, no cream, extra strength. Really? Yeah, because my job so horrible. Like I, I gotta like <laughs> I gotta like be hyped up. It's like gotta, you gotta like, <laughs> <laughs> it's that bad, nigga. Like, <laughs> in the car like Dwight fucking playing rock music, like it's gonna be a good day. You fucking yeah. try to pump yourself up, you know what I mean? Man, and as a grown up, I mean you can't just quit a job like you could in your twenties. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, my nigga, you know what I'm man. saying? That's what I had to do. I had to fucking buckle down at work and be like, all right, I'm gonna move up in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what Which, I mean? It's a good thing though. But yeah, yeah. The responsibility is a motherfucker. It is though, my nigga. It is. You know what I'm saying? Man. You watched Cobra Kai today? I did, son. I'm on season three. I'm on like uh Man. shit. I tell you, hold up. I'm like episode uh because I just started season three, so like I'm early. Damn. Uh, I, I didn't watch season one in a long ass time. I was like I was YouTube with it. Really? You so you've been watching yeah. that shit from the gate. Yeah, like I was, I was, people was hating on me. I was like, man, watch this shit. Niggas still hate on me. I ain't black. Really? A lot of niggas hate on me. Like, I got you. I got my, well, yeah, my partners that fuck with it. It's not my black, you know, they're not black. Like my boy Joe Bird, he don't really talk about it. But my boy Mike, he talks about it all the time. He fucks with Cobra Kai, you know what I'm saying? Certain niggas be clowning me. They're like, nigga, Daniel's like 75. So that was the thing, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's Misty. My wife, I keep, my wife's same shit. She keeps saying, like, they're so old, though, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm like, I feel you, but it's dope. Because that was my reservation at first. When they when I saw YouTube, when it was YouTube Red, they was trying mm -hmm. to do the YouTube Red shit. And they had it out. And I was like, ah, I don't know. I ain't, like, I've, I've, it looks dope. The trailer looked dope. But at the same time, I was kind of reserved because I'm like, these niggas are so old. Yeah. But then once you watch the show, that shit go hard, son. Like, and they like the new senseis. Yo, and they did that shit perfect, dog. That's what I was trying to explain to my wife. I'm like, yo, the fucking, the way they do it is perfect. Like, it's the right amount of nostalgia, the right amount of, like, cheesy, kind of, but not too cheesy. Like, they tell yeah. the line real good, you know what I'm saying? The right amount of comedy, the right amount of, like, dramatic shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Because I thought fucking... I was going, yeah, I thought I was going to get turned off by like the teeny bopper shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, whole, yeah. But even then, I was into it. I was like, yo, is Miguel going to get back with her or not? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That shit was straight. Yeah, exactly. I fucked with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't want to ruin because you say you ain't watched all of season three, but um... nah, I ain't watched it all yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm on episode three. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't even remember what happened season one. I'm trying so to remember. Season one ended. So season one, they kind of started the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the whole uh, drama with 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 uh, with Johnny Lawrence's son, you know, kind of oh, okay. kind of get back into his life. And Robbie. His son, yeah, with Robbie. And then Robbie ends up to go work for Daniel LaRusso to piss his dad <laughs> off and then ends up liking Daniel and Daniel trains him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then they get into the tournament and they find out that uh Robbie was Johnny's son, you know what I'm saying? And Daniel felt played, you know what I'm saying? So when he got into the tournament, he got into the tournament by himself, you know what I'm saying? Until the finals, in the finals, it, it said that he was Miyagi-Do, you know what I'm saying? And that yeah. Daniel LaRusso was his sensei. And uh I thought it was dope that he lost, you know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. playing him like the Daniel type, you know what I mean? He got hurt and shit, his shoulder was all fucked up, and you know what I mean? I kind of expected it though, because um, it's Cobra Kai, you know. So. Yeah, the show is called Cobra Kai, right? You know what I'm saying? So, so they're know. really trying to, I don't know, they're trying to elevate Cobra Kai in a and way. Re- but... Repaint it, repaint yeah, the, yeah. you know. What I'm, and I like how they did that. That's what I was telling my wife too. I was like, I thought it was dope that they showed the like the first movie from Johnny Lawrence's perspective, like mm. you know what I mean? Right. Because like, right. my boy Mike has said that shit, like you know Daniel comes to town and takes his girl, and you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that was kind of like that was dope. I thought that yeah, was yeah. dope. And that's ill throughout the whole writing of every season because they yeah. kind of do give you a different perspective. Which, it does what they it should do. do. Like it does though. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at it from Johnny's perspective, Dang. he's like I'm the fucking cool kid at school, yeah. and this motherfucker comes out of nowhere. And mm-hmm. fucking tries to take my girl, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why some blogs got uh, Daniel Larusso as the bully. As the is the real bully, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like, like the way Johnny said it, like you know, I saw him pushing up on my girl. I I fucked him up, you know what I mean? And I yeah. thought that was it. Like, all right, motherfucker, I know how to beat your ass. Let it go. And then we at the Halloween dance, and this nigga pours water on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Out of nowhere. So me and my boys go to fucking confront him, and then his fucking karate master comes out of nowhere and beats up me and my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the perspective of his perspective. I like, I like that. Like, because from the movie, you're like, that's what you get, bully. You know what I'm saying? But from his perspective, he's like, nah, I fucking, you know what I mean? And he's I'm, actually more entertaining than Daniel. Daniel's oh, kind of a lame, a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, he carries the show. He definitely yeah. carries the show. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And yeah. I like how they play it up. Like, he's, like, out of touch. He's fucking don't know shit about technology and shit. And you know what I mean? Yeah. And they, they, they keep that shit going throughout part three. Yeah, yeah, Or season yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah. I saw something, like, some people are wanting them to add the the girl from Karate Kid Part 4. Is that Hillary? That ain't Hillary, Hillary Swank. Swank. Yeah, that was Hillary Swank. Yeah. Okay. You know they want to bring her back. I think that would be dope. But I think nobody they, watched that shit. Did you watch that? I watched that shit. That shit went hard. The next, the next Karate Kid, the next Karate yeah. Kid went hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. I, I don't fuck, think nobody I watched it. With it. Yeah, I watched it. I fucked with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Uh, I thought I think that would be dope just to bring it all full circle because it's it's in the same universe. You know what I'm saying? Well, then they gotta bring Jaden. Nah, because that's different. That's a revamp. That's a totally different era. You know what I'm saying? Because the next Karate Kid. Oh, so did Miyagi train? Miyagi Swank? trained, yes. Miyagi trained her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Could, I guess that could work. And Miyagi... it was kind of like the same situation. Like she was new to the town, blah, blah, blah. And fucking, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Intriguer. That's why I say that one would make sense. But nah, you could don't, Jaden and Jackie Chan and shit, that's totally different universe. That's some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. If, if Miyagi trained it, that, that could be dope. Yeah, exactly. I just... Like it made Man. me want to go by because I own all the other ones. I own the the first three, uh, but I don't own the next Karate Kid. I didn't buy that one yet. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you you watched season three up to what episode? Episode three. So I saw the beginning where. Did you see? Uh, you saw he went to China already, right? Nah, I ain't seen that. Ah oh, man, that's uh-uh. my favorite episode. Uh, uh-uh, I ain't seen that. I ain't Yo, seen that. damn. I, okay. I seen I seen where, uh, where fucking, Crease is is now taking over the dojo. 
yeah. and he kind of let Johnny know like he fucking hustled him. You know what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. fucking made a deal with the guy while he was out of town at the other guy's funeral. And that dude really did die. I don't know if you know that, but he really did. Oh die. yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I don't yeah. know how they did that. Like how did, I guess like... I guess maybe they knew he was because he did look sick. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I think he was already sick when they filmed the episode. I was uh, thinking about that, like, damn, that's kind of like weird. That's kind of yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was he was probably willing to do it. Like, I'm down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I'm gonna die mean? in two weeks. Let's film this I'm, shit. Like, I'm right, gonna die in two weeks. Yo, you know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> then he, and then he fucking died like that same year. You know what I'm saying? I, I was trying to figure that out. So I guess he already knew he was gonna die. Yeah, and... yeah. And they probably wanted him in the show. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. he was down to do it. You know what I mean? Uh, and that was my dude, you know what I'm saying? Get him a body bag. That was the oh, kind yeah. of guy. That was the one that says that, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was that was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. So you ain't seen when they go to China, all right? Nah, nah, I ain't seen that yet. I'm, I've been moving through it pretty fast though, because I had just started watching that shit, and I mm. flew through season season one, and then I finished up season two today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I was watching uh, this review. Uh, uh, these two, these three guys, they do a, a they did a review on season one when it was on YouTube too, and then they did the season two review, and uh, like their gripe was like the fight at the end that it seemed like too advanced. You know what I'm saying? On, and, on season two? Yeah, on season two. Like, you know what that I mean? Shit, that, was, that was probably up to that point the best fucking moment. Like, that shit was intense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought it was dope. You know what I mean? What you think of the kid uh, Hawk with the, the mohawk and shit? I think Hawk, Hawk is dope. You know what I'm saying? I okay. like how how they... Uh, I mean, he's a... Don't get it twisted. He does make you like like him and not like him at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Because you remember where he came from to what he is now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And hey, um, I think he do a pretty good job acting with his character. I think so, too. I think... And I also think that it's dope that they show, like, for him, you got to see the development. And then mm-hmm. for, like, Johnny Lawrence and Crease, even, they go back and show, like, these dudes were bullied, too. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And that's why they are the way they are. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know what I mean? Yo, I'm going to tell you probably one of the sickest parts of mm-hmm. season three. I ain't going to tell you what it is, but mm-hmm. they're showing the backstory of Crease. Mm-hmm. You've been peeping that, right? I've been peeping that. I've been peeping the backstory of Crease. So I, what I've seen so far is just right before he goes to the military. Okay. So, like he he meets that girl in the in the in the diner, and those dudes are like picking on him, and yeah. and his mom, I guess, committed suicide or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and fucking, uh, they're talking shit about him, freak, calling him a freak or whatever, and then they're outside, and the dude smacks that girl, and mm-hmm. he steps in it, and he fucking beats those two dudes up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So his I'm backstory. Like they gonna show his backstory the whole episode. I mean, the whole season. Okay. That shit is sick. Like that's dope. You know, because he he goes to the military. That's where he meets uh, the nigga from part three. Already. Okay. So you'll you'll, you'll kind of pick up like they're gonna try to like you know uh, redirect you to think you know the dude named Ponytail is the nigga from part three. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. You, you'll catch it. I got you. I gotta watch yeah. this shit. I gotta watch this shit. So they they setting up for season four already. Like yeah, it, and I totally man. forgot about part three that Daniel had joined Cobra Kai. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I forgot about that. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's gonna make me go back and watch them all. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To kind of refresh myself with the fucking. Yeah. Because the first one, classic, I've seen that a million times. But two and three, I've seen, like, you know, not as many times as I've seen the first one. You know what I mean? People hate on part three. Now part, part three, three was straight. You part know three went saying? hard. Yeah. And I felt that was uh, Daniel's toughest battles was part three against the yeah. nigga that was, uh, you know, the villain or whatever. Yeah, and that nigga was a real fighter. You know what oh, I'm okay. saying? In real life, he was a real kickboxer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Which kind of made it, I guess, not believable. Like, that nigga would fuck Daniel up I in real feel, life. Yeah, 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 in real life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in the movie, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So you remember the villain from part two, though, right? From part two, that's when they went to Okinawa. That's when they went to Japan, mm-hmm. right? Uh, or China. Uh, was it Japan? I, uh, I think in Okinawa in Japan. I mean, it sounds like it's in Japan. We're about to find out right now, nigga. I think it's just in China, though. I think, racist you just ass. Be, I think you just being racist and assuming, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, okay, I was in Japan, nigga. <laughs> okay. Then why did nigga go to China? He probably went to Japan and you just calling it China. Which... <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's why he went to China. That's Miyagi's funny. Chinese. Nah, Miyagi's Japanese. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Miyagi is not Japanese. Yes, he is, bro. Uh, damn. 
about to type in what is it ethnicity because it's not race it's ethnicity you know that nigga was a comedian yeah nationality mr miyagi is an okinawan american so he would be japanese it's a japanese handyman you know what i'm saying uh, that's crazy you know so who's a comedian the uh, dude that played Mr. Miyagi started off as a comedian. Pat Morita did? <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that? I did not know that. No, nah, I did not know that. Because he, he's really Mexican. No, he's not. I know, I'm bullshit. I'm finna say, nigga. I was like, no, he's not, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, he, he was a comedian, though. Yeah, but I thought it was funny that they had the little Mexican dude uh, in, the, in the season two, and he was fishing, and he was dressed like fucking Mr. Miyagi, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, I don't and, remember. He, and he gave him like a little words of wisdom and shit like you know because he was trying to get fucking Miyagi Do off the ground and he only had the two students and he couldn't get people recruited or whatever and mm -hmm. uh and fucking uh he was like telling him like you know we're talking about the fish like you know sometimes you just gotta wait you know what I mean and let him come to you you know what I mean mm. oh I think I remember that yeah because if whatever you got on the line is good They'll come get it. You know Niggas, what I'm saying? The Miyagi Nuggets last forever. Yo, for real though. Like, they do though. You know what I'm saying? Love them shits. You know what I'm it, saying? It says Miyagi was a karate master. He uh he he was trained in Chinese martial arts during his stay in China. But that nigga went to China. You sure Akinoa is in Japan? I'm positive. I just Googled that shit, nigga. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So Jackie Chan is Chinese. I think so. I believe so. Let's All right. So since we always do like a top three, top five shit, who your top three martial artists, you know, black, uh, you know, Chinese, white. Man, top three is hard. I could do five, but I, 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 I could do, do I mean, yeah, we could do five because five for me. It's a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, because you got to go Bruce Lee, right? You know what I'm saying? That's your number one? Yeah, got to go Bruce Lee. Uh, then I would say, like, a, just like the movies I like to watch, fucking no particular order with the next ones, but uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Jean-Claude was the oh, nigga. So you put Jean-Claude Van Damme in your five? Hell yeah. Why would As I not? Bloodsport, nigga, kickboxer. Well, I'm just letting you know, my five is going to whoop your five ass. Nigga, you got Van Damme. Van Damme go hard, nigga. That nigga did the splits every movie. It Yo. showed his butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he was known for. It. Yo, nah, blood sport, they threw the shit in his face. And, uh, he couldn't see his shit. <laughs> you know what I'm no, saying? No, that was my shit. Blood Yo, sport was my shit. Kickbox is forever, like... Yo, kickbox is the shit, son. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would put my man to fucking... Uh, fucking Bolo in there, but he don't really do a whole lot of shit. Bolo's the, the, the big Asian nigga that he fought. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nigga, swole ass nigga. Yo, swole ass Asian, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, um, so Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh my God. Uh, Jackie Chan, for sure. Gotta throw Jackie Chan mm. in there. I fuck with Jackie Chan shit. Uh, let me see. Cause I ain't watched none of the It Man, It Man movies. It, oh, okay. but it Man was supposed to be um, the shit. Umbak. Um Umbak is that his name or whatever? I think that's It Man. Yeah, It Man. I ain't watched none of them. I, I heard of them and I, I wanted to watch them, but I ain't watched them yet. Uh, oh, yeah. And my shit is all like Steven Seagal. American niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, you oh, know okay. what I mean? Like, I didn't watch a whole lot of kung fu movies and shit, or you know. Well, I didn't I mean? either, but shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, fucking Jet Li. Oh, Jet Li. I forget about Jet Li. Oh, Jet Li. You know what Jet I'm saying? Jet Li was raw. That nigga appeared in Lethal Weapon. Yeah, yeah. Jet Li was the shit. Uh, yeah, I had to throw Jet Li in there. So Jackie Chan, Jet Li, Bruce Lee, Jean-Claude Van Damme. I need a fifth one. Uh, Van Damme is like five foot two. Or I guess. Damn, go hard, though, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's sleeping on Van Damme. Uh, I think it was, uh, the people from... Chuck Norris, think of the people from um, the Expendables. Yeah, but, you know, I wouldn't put fucking, like, Statham and shit. You know what I'm saying? With Chuck uh, Norris? Yeah, I would put Chuck Norris. I think I would do, I was, that's where I was going to go, is probably Chuck Norris. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, for me. Definitely Bruce Lee. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Lee and Jet Lee. Mm-hmm. Um, 
fucking um damn I might have a brain for Mike, probably Michael Jai. I was gonna Mike. say I was gonna say Michael Jai, but I was like, eh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen him in enough <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? You hating. Yo, but that Michael nigga be Jai, whooping ass. He do though, he do though. I ain't gonna hold you. He was spawned, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know he was man? uh he had another movie too where he did Kung Fu shit. Yeah, they, he was supposed to have a uh uh a, a fucking part undercover in. brother too. Oh, true. He's stupid. He was, uh, he did Black Dynamite. You know what I'm saying, Michael? Oh, Black Black Dynamite. He was supposed to have a part in in Kill Bill, but they cut it out. You know what I'm saying, just for timing and and pacing or whatever. You know what I'm oh, saying. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Fucking, uh, you know, Bruce Leroy. Forgot about Bruce. I was about to say Bruce Leroy. I thought you was gonna hate. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Bruce Lee. One Bruce Leroy will whoop the shit out of Van Damme. <laughs> well, you already know that. Yo, true. Real talk. <laughs> um, you say Jet Li, Jackie Chan. That's um, five. Bruce Lee, Jet Li. Uh, you said Michael John White, fucking Bruce Lee Roy. Oh, that's four. And if you throw Jackie Chan, that's five. Yeah, I gotta put Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan got this one movie that that nigga goes so hard. I can't even think of the name of the movie. Is it the fucking Drunken Master or some shit like that? Uh, I know that go hard, but this it's another one. Mom, the one I watched was was it Rumble in the Bronx? It might be that. It was the one. I, that's like one of the first ones I've seen. And I thought it was because they, they and I saw that shit in the movie theater and they the trailer and shit made it seem like it was a fucking American movie. But when you really watch that shit, you realize that shit was filmed overseas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? But it still yeah. went hard, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Fucking Jet Li got that Kiss of the Dragon. You ever seen that? Uh, I don't know if I've seen that one. I think i seen fucking Fearless. And mm-hmm. I got a couple other Jet Li movies. Oh yeah, he got one called like The One. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's just, I thought it was gonna be like The Matrix. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Say, I seen The One. Your boy Keanu. Um, Keanu go hard, but he ain't really like martial arts, martial arts. You know what I'm saying? Like he could do some shit, don't get it twisted. 47 Ronin go hard, I fucked with that. You know what I'm saying? That shit is a sleeper, you know what I mean? Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai. Yeah, I remember Tom Cruise, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah, these four foot uh, white boys. You know what I'm saying? That my shit when I was a kid used to be the American Ninja movies. Oh, okay. And they had that one black dude. Uh, he was in fucking. I want to say he was in. I'm gonna get you, sucker, too. I know uh, you're talking about. It. I'm trying yeah, to think of his name. I can't remember his name, bro. But he was always like the the machine gun nigga. But he was always dying and shit and getting his ass whooped. You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, damn. I know I you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? It's like a black ass name too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to look up Jet Li shit that I that I got. What I got. So they're talking about. I don't know. If, I doubt if it's gonna happen, but uh, Michael Jai White agreed to fight Mike Tyson in one of them exhibitions. Really? Yeah, but Tyson hasn't said anything. I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Are you thinking Tyson will whoop whoop him? I think. I mean, if it's a boxing match, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but he he confident when he was talking about it. He said he sparred with like, you know, uh, like real boxers and shit. And well, like, I mean, he played Tyson. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in the HBO movie, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The HBO Mike Tyson movie. He claimed his defense is like he won't get hit. Really? Like he, yeah, he ain't he ain't afraid to fight Mike. Wow, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Other sleeper shit. Wesley Snipes, nigga. We talking about black niggas that can fight? Uh, yeah. Wesley Snipes. Snipes went hard. I, mean, yeah. I ain't even talking about Blade. Wesley Snipes. Nah. It's another movie. He got uh, called Art of War, I think. Yeah, Art of War go hard. You know what I'm saying? Snipes got some uh, some martial arts. Yeah, it was a Rising Sun. Was uh, I think that's another one of his shits. Uh, and- one Wesley Snipes is a slept on action star that I feel just don't get enough credit. Like as far as like True. the greats, like yeah. that nigga's a great. Yeah, that's what I think too. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Like, I guess you know it, he went to jail or whatever. People forgot yeah, about him. People but... forget about him. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wesley Snipes is one of the, you know what I mean? Look at his range. This nigga did uh, action movies. Yeah, White Man Can't Jump. Yo, comedy, drama movies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, shit, fucking New Jack City. You know what I'm Man, saying? Probably one of the greatest black villains, if not the greatest black villain. In one the, of them the of all time. I think, yeah, Nino Brown is like, man, I don't know. Because, like, Nino... You want to fucking be Nino 
up until the wedding scene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that make it fucking, hard. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Cause, <laughs> cause he was a gangster. And then when he grabbed that little girl and used her like a shield and shit, Man. you know what I'm saying? Cause it that's looked like he's the... trying to save her at first, but he grabbed her and turned around and th- that's like, oh, this nigga's a piece of shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. And like, that's the turning point. You know what I mean? That's a true villain, man. Yo, like, for real, for real. I can't believe nigga. he did that shit. Yeah, exactly, son. This nigga did G Money wrong. Yo, he did G Money dirty. You know what I'm saying? And so, then, oh, go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So they're talking about uh, they, people. Some people want to reboot in New Jack City. I don't know if that needs a reboot though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's like the Godfather. Like, I mean, I know it ain't on the level, cinem- like cinematically or or like. Uh, script and all that but for me like on like my classic movies i mean that's that's like the godfather son like that's one of the movies you don't need to really fuck with you know i i could see juice i don't even know how they could reboot juice because the era of the music was yeah like... exactly and the and the whole dj thing and all that you know what i'm saying i mean you could do that and maybe do it around battle rap you know what i'm saying and the dude's a battle rapper instead of a dj you know what i'm saying uh, because nah. I could see the competition. Okay. Thing, you know what you I'm saying? You got the juice now. I, I mean, not just, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And I'm that's what I'm trying to tell it. these young niggas. These young niggas be talking about juice and, and the sauce and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and yeah. I'm like, this fucking old, those shit's just old terms. They just got more popular. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. Sauce was, uh, sauce means something different though. Sauce is like, uh, it's the same shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the juice, but juice is like, Sauce is like swag. Sauce is like swag, but juice is like you that nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you the man now. Yeah, exactly. You got the juice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what you, What'd you think of the, uh, that movie, Juice, anyway? Like, juice, looking back at it. Looking back at it, it had its moments. You know what I'm saying? Of like, where it's still, I can still watch it. You know what I'm saying? I still mm-hmm. think it's good, but... uh you know, you think about some of the shit like Q fucking with that, the chick, she basically older than him. You know what I'm saying? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah. You know what I mean? And but Pac, Pac made the movie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? To me, that's Tupac's best role. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Far. I don't uh, know, Poetic Justice. He was dope in Poetic Justice too. Uh, yeah, he 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 did good. That was a soft side of Tupac. Yeah, he, he did good in Poetic Justice, and I don't know if you ever watched uh, Bullet or no, gang related. It, gang related was straight. Is it Bullet with him and um? Fuck, what's my man? My man that plays Abomination. Is it Eli Roth or uh let me look this nigga up. Ethan Hulk. Yeah. Uh, nah, and it, and it's the one they're like, I'm I don't I'm trying to I don't want to fuck it up and say they're drug addicts, but I don't know above the rim too. Birdie. Oh, yeah, yeah Birdie was saying? dope. Yeah. But the you Bishop know, was like that nigga showed acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, that nigga was. Like you watch the progression of this nigga just turning true. evil. True, true. Hold up, here we go. Nah, not bullet. It was after above the rim. Hold up, my bad. I'm about to find it. You know the whole story of him uh in Menace to Society, right? Gridlocked. That's the one. Oh, Gridlocked. Gridlock, hey, Gridlock yeah, went hard. That soundtrack used to bang. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? With Tim Roth, not Eli Roth, Tim Roth. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, with the, uh, that he was supposed to be O-Dog. Well, he wanted to be O-Dog, mm-hmm. but he got mad because John Singleton put him as uh, the uh, Sharif nigga. Uh, it was the, no, it wasn't Singleton, it was the fucking brothers. Um, oh, Hughes brothers. The Hughes brothers, yeah. yeah and yeah. they fucking, um, I, thought, I thought what it was is they took him out of the role that he wanted to be O-Dog and he was signed up to be O-Dog and then mm-hmm. they took him out to... Uh, for uh, Lorenz Tate, and that he fucking fought them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Supposedly, Pac. You know what I mean? Now, the story I heard was uh, they, they put him as Sharif, and he just like he didn't. He felt like Sharif wasn't believable. Really? Yeah. He's like, ain't nobody like this fucking positive. Like you know, like I nigga wanted more of an edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, he uh, apparently he whooped the niggas. Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying, and that's why they took him out the movie. You know what I mean? But I mean, I couldn't see now. I th- now I couldn't see nobody else as old dog. You know what I'm saying? Could you see Tupac as old dog? I really couldn't. Because 
because the point of old dog was that he was a young nigga you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying he and was reckless the, and reckless and he was young and he was on the block and i feel like at the time Pac might have been a little old for that role you know what i'm saying probably see Pac as kane no i could see Pac as kane i could have seen that because kane had that like whole duality thing going on like where like you know i got one foot in the streets and i got one foot trying to get out you know what i'm saying yeah, you know I, what I mean? I could have been a dope cane. I think he would have been a dope cane. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But old dog, I think Lorenz Tate played that shit to the oh, T, yeah. dog. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I think it was a good ass actor. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, man. Uh, you still watch football? Or? Man, I ain't gonna hold you. The whole, like, 2020 shit kind of fucked me up, and I ain't really been keeping up. But, I mean, I know who's in the playoffs and shit, but I ain't really been keeping up. I saw okay. the fucking Browns beat the Steelers. I was like, wow. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I didn't, I didn't even know the Browns made the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? That's how mm. much out of the loop I was. I didn't even know they was in the contention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so the Browns beat the Steelers, and next week they play uh, Kansas City. Yeah, they're going to get mopped by Kansas City, though. Uh, I mean, probably just because Kansas City's playing- hard to stop. Browns are going to go up early, right? And then fucking Mahomes is going to do what Mahomes do and fucking come back king. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That nigga's the fucking come back king, son. You know what I mean? It's just because the Browns got a tough running game. And mm-hmm. like, if they can control, if they play it right, they can you know, they can compete. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if they're yeah. going to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, Browns, Kansas City, and then Tom Brady against Drew Brees. That's yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Two oldest quarterbacks to go at it in history. Yeah, wow. That's dope. Shit, I don't know, son. I'm always been a Brady fan. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. And I feel like Breeze is destined to be Brett Favre and just get that one. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with Breeze right now just because. Um, remember he had um, he was like against the Black Lives Matter shit. Like was he though? Yeah, he said something. Then he backtracked afterwards. Like, oh, you know, I didn't mean it. Oh, I, I, I well, no, heard- it was it. He was against the like he got mad at the kneeling or some shit. At the kneeling? Yeah. Mm, something like you. that. I got you. I had I had heard something about that, that he had said something or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm I'm I'm, I'm pulling for Brady. I, I never was a Patriots fan, but I like the story of Brady going to a different team. Oh, I feel you. I was always a Tom Brady fan, dog. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Tom Brady. Like uh you gotta but, respect him. Yeah, and it shows he proved his point though. I mean, he proved his point, dog, because he left and the Patriots didn't even make the fucking playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's what was the battle between him and Belichick, the egos, like, you know, Belichick going to do things his way and Brady like, no, you know, you need to listen to me, you know. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, son. Like, and and don't get it twisted, but like everybody would say like uh, that it was Belichick's offense that made it so good and that's why Brady could do his thing with no name receivers because the offense was so good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Cause he only had a few big receivers. I mean, what Randy Moss, uh, Moss who else yeah, went over uh, there? Did Chad Johnson go over there for a little bit? Uh, yeah, but he couldn't, Chad Johnson didn't really fit in. Yeah. And then they had Antonio Brown for a hot second, not even oh, yeah. long enough to fucking make a difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Moss was probably like his biggest that he had for a little while. You know what I mean? Brady's by far the GOAT. I mean, they say Patrick yeah. Mahomes might, you know, eventually be the GOAT. But oh, I mean, it. eventually he'll be on the list too. But right now, I mean, the, the best quarterback that plays right now is Tom Brady. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I mean? Aaron Rodgers do his thing. Aaron Rodgers does do his thing, but he'll still be like a Favre. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. one of them dudes is like, man, he was really good, but he didn't like Peyton. I feel like is in that category because Peyton – is one of the best quarterbacks of all time, but like Dan Marino, Dan Marino never got a ring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's where they're going to fall off like that top, top list. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. how good they were, but it's just like they couldn't get over that hump. Like Peyton did it, what, twice? Mm, Peyton got, got one with Indianapolis. He got one got with one uh, Denver. Denver and retired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Eli got three. You know what I'm saying? So, or don't Eli get two or three? Now I want to say Eli got three. No, he might have got two. Okay. Yeah, so they tied. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, uh, what you do with your stemmy? Uh, sit, sat on it. You know what I'm saying? You, you got it though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. We got uh, because we only get one for one kid. You know what I'm saying? So okay. For for the little one, because she's only one of age or whatever. So shit. So, 
Sat on so that how, shit. So how should that shit work, man? Um, you know, my wife got, you know, two kids. You mm-hmm. know, I'm step daddy. I, you know, I put in a lot of work. Mm-hmm. You know, taking care of them kids. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> you know, the stimulus came. You, you know, she get that that extra. Um, you know, the extra bonus with the two kids. Mm-hmm. Should she be splitting that with me? I mean, I would think so. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, that's what I mean, because do y'all file together? Nah. Taxes, y'all file separately? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, see, me and Misty filed, me and my wife filed together. You know what I'm saying? I keep, okay. uh, so we filed together, so we got it, but it goes to her shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so then she sent it to me, and I just put the, 12 of it in savings and then I told her like yo keep that other six do whatever you want you know what I'm saying yeah yeah Fucking go blow that other six that's free money you know what I'm saying okay because I remember um I think last whatever the last time that we mm-hmm. uh, got the stimulus check and I brought it up I was like yeah you know I think I should get a you know get mm-hmm. my cut and yeah it was like it was a big ass deal like you know like like I'm being greedy or like my hand out or something so I, I mean I, I, I didn't ask this time. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't think it's it's like a handout thing. I think that's more of a like we in this together thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, I take care of the damn kids too. Yeah, like, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I feel like uh, I don't know. It's one of them things like, you know, because you could flip that and be like, you want a cookie? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for, like, you know, for some shit you're supposed to do type shit. But at the same token, yeah. you know, it's one of them things that she should also recognize, like, we're in this together. You know what I'm saying? Because for me, that's how we roll with, like, with bread and stuff. It all It's all the same pot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all the same pot. If it's in my pocket, if it's in her pocket, we got the same amount of money. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think it may be part of my fault because um, we just kind of do our finances separate. I mean, she got her bills, I got my bills, but we don't keep track of how much money you know, we bring it in and all that. So I got you. And that's the thing. Y'all should do that together. Cause then that makes it not such a taboo topic. You know what I'm saying? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Cause that's what makes it easier for me and my wife. You know what I mean? And don't get it twisted. This started out like that, but yeah, but that also came from the previous, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Marriage or whatever. And, and like checking her money and like, what she's spending and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where I'm not like that. I'm like, you know, do whatever the fuck you want to do. We just got to pay these bills first. You know what I'm saying? When we get together and we're like, yo, what you got? I'm like, this is what I got, what you got. Okay, so we got blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, uh, but you got to have a conversation about that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to like... Get- it just gets so tense and emotional for no reason. It's, it's money, bro. Like, however yeah. you take it, money's always going to be unless you get to that point. And you have to present it with that, I think, with that view of, I'm not trying to check you. I'm Because that was always my thing. It's like, I'm not trying to check you. I'm not trying to check how much you spend or how much you got or whatever. I just feel like we should, we're in this together. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. what I mean? Easier said than, than done. Yeah, but you got to present it like that. Like, yo, we in this together, so our money should be together. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just money, not spending shit for the next four months. Like, I feel you. You got it. Yeah, I'm you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you have an order pizza? You got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Cause I, I don't Cause know. Because so your stimulus came separately. Yeah, yeah. So you got yours, and then she got yeah. hers, plus the two kids. Yeah, and I like I, I, I are like they I, both are they both oh because how old are you, you, you your kids? Uh, seventeen and uh oh, yeah, sixteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and I spent mine real quick. I just paid off, you know, the king bed that we both sleep on. I feel you, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's she, the thing, is she, she about is to she, buy a Beyonce gear. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, it shouldn't be uh I, I, it's we, you know what I'm saying? And, and don't get a twist, you say it like that, but it comes off like, like my wife will tell me like, oh, I paid this, that, and the third. And she's telling me like, oh, all we got left is this, that, and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, I took care of this today. I did that today. You know what I'm saying? I got this much left. She's like, oh, I did this. And then I got this much left. You know what I'm saying? And that took time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause I had to, cause the first couple of times I brought it up, my wife was the same way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but I had to get to the stem of that. It's like, Yo, that's not how I'm coming at you, though. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming yeah. at you like like trying to check you. I'm just saying I feel like we're in this together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe we need a, a coach or something. We we've tried to to manage the finances, combine our you know our savings. Mm-hmm. And- that shit just always end up the same. Just, you know, maybe we'll build up $500 together. And- like, we don't have a joint bank account. Me and my wife don't have right. a joint bank account. I got my own bank account. She got her own bank account. But we're very uh, upfront with what we have. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I got left. Because, like, I know she buys shit. I buy shit. You know what I'm saying? I tell her, like, oh, today I bought this fucking sweater or whatever the fuck. Or, you know what I'm saying? I bought some hats. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get on fucking voodoo and I be like, yo, I'm about to go... I got a $30 limit today. You know what I mean? I'll buy 30 bucks worth of movies or whatever. Uh, so that's not the point, but like, we'd be like, yo, I paid this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? And then this is what I got left. You know what I'm saying? What you got left. I got this left. All right. So this is how much we got till whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's still a communication there. Yeah, exactly. And I try to, and I've been trying to save shit too. So like, I'm like, oh, I got this much in savings and I got this much in my checking. So this is, I'm trying to just, this is what I really got. You know what I'm saying? Just in yeah. case shit hit the fan, I do got this extra shit though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know well, what I, mean? I mean, that works. That's... It is. It's a conversation and, and, and you got to present it with that. I think if you present it with the look, I feel like, you know, I don't got no plan B. You don't, you don't got no plan B. It's me and you. So we should be in this together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just different, man. Uh, like, for example, my wife buys Starb- Starbucks every morning. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. for me saying, like, shit, maybe you shouldn't get Starbucks today. Like, why don't you, like, you know, make some coffee at home some of these days? And Yeah, yeah, yeah. That becomes the biggest problem in the world. Are you controlling my pockets? And, like, I no, I'm just telling you. Like, I'm just saying. I'm, like, I'm trying to help. But. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. And we had conversations like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we was talking about something the other day. And I was like, uh, we could do it because we were talking about something about money or something like that. And I was like, we could do that. We would just have to cut out the little shit. You know what I'm saying? And and she was like, what you mean? I was like, we both do it. Little shit. Like, you know, every day's Christmas at my house. My wife always got something coming from Amazon. You know what I'm saying? And it don't be a whole lot of shit. She might have spent 20 bucks or whatever. And then I said, I do it too. I buy a hat or I go buy movies or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, you know what I mean? So I said, you know, that's the shit that we would have to both like really watch. You know what I'm saying? And then she was like, but I don't want to do that. I was like, all right, well, I don't want to do it either. So we can't do this other thing. I can't even remember what the conversation was about, but yeah. I just thought it was something about us saying that we would have to cut out the little shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, so I mean, I'm sure that's probably the toughest thing most couples go through is trying to figure oh, yeah. that out. Money is, you know what I'm saying? Those are always going to be the biggest issues is 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 money and sex you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah you know what i'm saying yeah um shit i was gonna ask how, to, how much time we've been on so far i don't enough. even know because you don't keep track bro i don't i don't be seeing no timer on this bitch oh, until okay. i stop recording you know what i'm saying already um well yeah we could do like a you off tomorrow, man. We could do another part tomorrow if you wanted to. Shit, you I'm gonna down. Watch part, if you gonna watch season three, I am. I'm off tomorrow, so you know the grandbaby here. But I'll be watching that shit in my room. You know what I'm saying? She be oh, fucking okay. boss hogging my fucking big TV. You know what I mean? How, how old is the grandbaby? Four. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. she be watching cartoons all goddamn day. On oh yes, I already know. Yeah, you know. I, I mean. I, I keep them calm. Exactly. I let this shit play and fucking, you know what I mean? And she be watching cartoons and shit. And the living room is her room. And then I'll be in my room. You know what I'm saying? I'm complaining. It's first world problems, nigga. She got yeah. to, she be watching the 75 and I'm acting like I'm watching a little 24 inch TV. I got a 50 in my bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it ain't mm-hmm. like I'm struggling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, shit. Watch that shit. Um, Tomorrow, same time, we can, we can get back at it. I'm down, cause, but because I want to talk about this fucking eight ball MJG, you know. What I'm oh, saying? oh, hell yeah. Um, yeah and then, I mean, shit, we could we could bring Velvet in halfway through if you want. I'm down. We can bring him in from the, the jump. Yeah, okay. We can bring him in for the jump. All right. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, I'll let him know. And um, yeah, so I'm really getting off because uh, this national championship game is still on too. Oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that's why uh, Bryson didn't get on. But oh, I got you. Is it college football? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, see, I don't fuck with college football like that. I don't give a fuck. 
You know nah. what I'm saying? Nah. You know who playing? I don't even know who playing, nigga. I ain't gonna oh, hold shit. you. You know what Damn. I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you, dog. Like Corona made me watch more TV and watch more movies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I remember you was like up on the sports shit. I, like. I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was, but this shit made me fall off this year. You know what I'm saying? I fell off hard. Basketball, I fell off. Fucking, uh, and then football, I wasn't really giving a fuck. I think I maybe watched like two, three Cowboy games this year. You know what yeah. I'm saying? At the most, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's different. I, I, I feel you, but yeah. I don't know. I still, I gotta, I gotta watch some sports. I, nah, I just be bored I, out I my mind. You. Nah, I feel you. I need to get yeah. back into it. I just, I watch so much uh, TV, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit keep me enough entertained and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then yeah. I got big into the game too and the fucking Grand Theft Auto and shit. So like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's only so much that you can occupy your mind with it, man. Real talk, though, my nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, yo, like, I don't know how niggas be like, yeah, I know the ins and outs of the fucking Marvel shit, and I can tell you the fucking bench player on fucking Kansas City, and uh, you know what I mean? And they're like, that's not even my team. My team is this team, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't know how niggas keep up with all that shit, bro. I got too much shit going on, you know what I'm saying? I think Larry, Larry Garz is probably the only person I know that, like, this nigga just... As a wide spectrum of every damn thing. And that's how Suarez, Mike Suarez, oh, Suarez is the same too. way. Suarez, I'd be like, yo, nigga, when you find the time to do all that shit, bro, this nigga will talk about anime, comic books, fucking sports. That fucking... nigga will shock you stuff that he yeah, knows. Yeah, exactly, bro. I'd be like, nigga, where you find it? And, and, uh, and recent shit, too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, up to date. Yeah. yeah. You know he, what I mean? He is. Smart dude, though. Yeah. But um, should I? Hey, you froze. You froze up. Nah, yeah, you froze real quick and then okay, you're back you now up. though. You back now. Okay. Already uh, was shit. Yeah, something for the people. We out the real quick hey. podcast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't even know, know how long it was. I don't know. It was. It was. It was good. I feel like it was good. I'm, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, go watch right. the national football game about Blair Thompson eleven. Uh, hit me up. I posted the other day for like the first time in like months. Nigga, <laughs> I'm trying to get oh, better. Yeah. All right. Already deuces. So. Catch him, be Smitty. Uh, he didn't I'll be Smitty combo. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Little something, something.